Okay, another one going to Dayton Hamvention. Um, MFJ Versa Tuner 3 um, model MFJ 962D um, antenna tuner with the roller inductor with a counter there. And it's a um, three position switch box or antenna selector and a dual watt meter um, for forward and reflected um, power. And it reads um, peak and average. The dual meters, you can see the forward power and the reflected power. And where they cross at would be the um, SWR uh, reading. So that's kind of cool. However, um, I'm spoiled by the, you know, automatic reading watt meters where, you know, you don't, you can see them at a glance and don't have to calibrate or anything. You don't have to calibrate on these, but you got to look at the cross to see your SWR on a cross meter. Um, so anyway, um, nice little unit, cute. Um, one thing I read about it, it's it says it's rated at 1500 watts um, input of an amplifier. That's not output. They playing games with the um, actual watt reading with that. You know how manufacturers play games to make their stuff sound better than it actually is. Um, uh, one at Stone, they say that Don Stoner did that when he was selling some marine radios that they needed to be 50 watt and he has only put out like 20 watt and uh, he went and got a scope and when you saw the um, glitch, you know, when you first keyed down a peak glitch on the scope the peak glitch when you first keyed down his marine radios was like 70 watts and he's like there you go uh you, you saw 70 watts on the scope yourself so therefore my my radios are good that that was the uh legend of stoner watts yep don stoner who made the stoner radios at least that's the uh legend of that but anyway mfj kind of did that with this i don't know if they did it with more where um, they say it's rated for 1500 um, input watts of an amplifier and most people know that um, with a linear amplifier you're only going to get out about 50-60% um, um, of what you put in so in actuality and this is according to the manual not me th these are rated for 800 watts output key down interesting thing um, it's got mixed reviews. Some people like it. Some don't. One of the bad reviews it got on Eham, the guy saying he was um, keyed down and tuning the, tuning the roller inductor. And then he heard noises and arcs and stuff. So he called the roller inductor this cheap junk, you know, and all that. But something I've read in many different places with the roller inductor, you don't tune while you're transmitting. Um, they're not made for that. Um, you you tune it, un, you know, you unkey, you tune it, then you key down and see what you got, and you can tune the caps, you know, while you're transmitting, but don't uh, tune a roller inductor while you're transmitting. So, anyway, this unit works. Um, you got a, a bunch of scratches um, from rack wear on the cabinet. Uh, face is pretty good, but not perfect. It's got a, you know, scratch here or there, a light one. And then I got the cover off, and on inside, the thing is pretty much mint. You know, it's got like a, uh, these tuners, at least a decent one, has a tune and load. Kind of like a uh, linear amplifier does. And then this one got that, that's the big roller inductor there. You can't really see the roller on the inside of this pretty good, but that's a roller inductor. And they say this will work from um, 10 through... Um, 160 meters again the coax switch dual watt meter whether it's peak or average I'm uh, gonna key it down right quick on a dummy load audio 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 doing it close to 100 watts according to that hello 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 and over here audio audio about the same on the MFJ uh, giant watt meter all right, that's going to be it for the uh, MFJ Versa Tuner 3. Bye.